Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL Week 3 preview between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. And let's look at the Giants coming in this ball game, hated rival Philadelphia Eagles traveling down the turnpike to Philadelphia. The Giants have to come in and take advantage of what the Eagles struggle against, which is the running game. You have the big bowling ball back there in Brandon Jacobs. You also have a guy who's very underrated back in this league in Ahmad Bradshaw. So the Giants should be able to run the football on that defensive interior of the Eagles. So I look for the Giants to be a little bit more run heavy as opposed to weeks past. So look for the Giants coming in and establish the ground, chew up that clock, and that's going to eat away at the chances of the Philadelphia Eagles. Also, you want to make sure you don't turn the football over. It's going to be easy for the Eagles to pick off passes with Asamoah Samuel and also Rodgers Cromartie. So the tight end play is going to have to be huge. If they're going to attack something in the passing game, the Giants have to attack the tight ends against those linebackers and safeties. Do not throw to the wide receivers unless you keep guys on the move and operating in the middle of the field. Defensively, right now as we film this, we don't know who's going to be the starting quarterback, whether it be Mike Vick or Mike Kafka or Vince Young or Ron Jaworski, whoever's going to be back there at quarterback, the Giants have to keep the same game plan, which is getting to the quarterback. They did a great job of harassing Sam Bradford last week against the, uh, against the Rams. The Giants' defensive pressure will continue to get better as guys get those sea legs underneath them. Look for Canty to have some success rushing up the middle. That's where the pressure has to come from, the defensive interior. I like Chris Canty getting pressure down the middle of that defense. That's, all, that's what you have to do to stop the Eagles is control the line of scrimmage. The Eagles have to come to this game, and you look at their offense. Even with whoever's going to be back there at quarterback, what goes unnoticed this year is how the Eagles are running the football. LaShawn McCoy is looking like a young Ricky Waters, the way he just glides in and out of traffic, makes people miss, controls the game with his ability to make plays down the field in the passing game and also in the running game. So I look for the Eagles, whoever's, if Kafka, if Kafka is back there, look for the Eagles to lean more on McCoy's expertise. I look for them to have a huge day uh, catching screen passes and also getting the flare routes and also running off tackle and making the, and really having the Giants linebackers, new linebackers, adjusting to his gameplay. Now defensively, coming into this matchup, if the Eagles continue to struggle in stopping the run, this will be a long day for Philadelphia. I need, stopping the run is not about talent. The Eagles have talent. Stopping the run is all about heart and want to. You have to want to stop the run. Because everyone's big in the NFL. Everyone has 300 pound linemen and D linemen and O linemen and 250 pound linebackers. Stopping the run is an attitude. You stop the run, you put Eli Manning in situations where he has to throw to win, and that plays right into the strength of the Eagles defense, which is the secondary. I love the safeties, I really like the corners, so you want to win on first down defensively if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, and you have to want to stop the run. X factors in this ball game. You look at the X factor for the New York Giants has to be Brandon Jacobs and Ahmad Bradshaw, their ground game. We say this every week. If they can get the ground game going, they operate off play action, tough team to beat. Defensively, they stay fresh. The ground game has to get going this week. If they can't run against the Eagles, then the Giants are going to have a long season. X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles, the play calling for the Philadelphia Eagle offense. Because if you're gonna start Mike Kafka or Vince Young, you have to make sure you call the right plays because you don't have your main guy back there in Vic. So the play calling of Andy Reid, which has struggled in recent times, has to be on point this week. I'm going with the Giants in this game. I like the defensive pressure that they provided against the, the Rams and I like the ability to run the football and that's gonna prove to be the biggest catalyst for a Giants victory on the road for the first time in a long time in Philadelphia. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.